Hell yeah, that's a win. Welcome back. Let's get into it. Latina mommy in your life, you feel me? Those are empanadas. Don't fall for it, boys. Papi, That's how they trap you. Help. Coming! Hey, shoddy. Be for real. You didn't want your boy when I was down. Now I got out the mud, made out the trenches, and now you want to mess with me. Look at me now. I glue up. What you talking about? <laughs> I know a real man who's broke and struggling and he deserves more. I know a fake man who got money and is living life. I know good girls who have become a side chick with broken hearts and deserve better. Mm. I know hoes that got wifed. I know a man who served serious time in the jail and never spoke a word on his friends and they got forgotten. Mm. I know snitches that are still rated. By the way, you don't have to be street to be real. Facts. I know legit people that are realer than trappers and gangbangers. Facts. I've seen, f I've seen the fake get praised and the real get slept on. Facts. There's no love, no respect, and no morals anymore. The game has changed. The game has changed. That's the Bible. Who wrote that? Yeah, yeah, that? yeah. That's, that's a real. Bro. He said the game has changed, but I don't think it changed. I think it was always like that. But you know, don't let it get you down. This is what it is. Life's an adventure, man. Have some fun. Girls, make sure your vibrator and your taser are different colors. Hey! Ew! You Melinda from Tinder? Do a 360 for me real quick. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. You want to see if you're a brave person, what they call the four o'clock in the morning courage. Wait when things go completely to pieces, when things are the worst, when your very best deal falls apart and your rent is late and you're tired and you're sick and everybody is mad at you and your car doesn't work. Then it's the person that picks themselves up and says nothing is going to stop me. You know, the best quality in the world that you can develop, and I give it to you because I made it my life's habit to develop this quality. I hope I've got it, but I don't know for sure. But the quality is to develop the quality of being unstoppable. Develop the quality of being unstoppable. Say in yourself that no matter what life throws at me, it'll never stop me. No matter how rough it gets, I will never quit. And nothing will ever stop me. I love Brian Tracy. This guy's the man. You know, that's the truth. And, you know, something clicks in the universe or in the world, and they realize that you ain't one to fuck with no more. And then just go give all that drama to somebody else. Your life gets so easy. You're unstoppable. You don't even make a fuss when shit goes wrong. It's just part of God's plan. You just figure out how to fix it and move on. You gotta figure it out. How you doing? Give me a hug. Okay. Yeah. Stand up, girl. Don't pick me up though. No, no, no. Okay, okay. My bad. My bad. Look, look, look. Look, look. I'm not even. Look, look. I'm gonna be fucking honest. I'm not even worthy. And what do you like about him? Everything. He's really, really polite. He's honestly, he's he's like the realest person I've ever met. Even though he's doing all this shit, falls, like, we're drunk. That doesn't make sense. But, like, on some real shit, like, he really cares for me, and he's really a good person on Man, this poor guy, I wouldn't be caught dead with this chick. What the fuck? Why are you popping bottles? What you celebrating for? What you going out this weekend for? You ain't completed nothing this week. You ain't made no money this week. You ain't completed no tasks. You ain't, you ain't knocked off no goals. You outside. You going to kick it with your friends. You going to get drunk. Sit your ass in the house. You ain't did nothing. Nothing to celebrate. What the hell is we celebrating you outside for? What you outside? Oh, we gotta live life though. Life isn't promised. What the fuck? You gonna say that for how many years? How many, how many, how many years you gonna say that? You motherfucker, 30 years old, you still saying the same shit. Life ain't promised. Man, I've thought this and felt this so many times that I see people go out every weekend and they're fucking hella excited and they get hammered and they blow the whole next day because they're hungover. Man. There's nothing more successful than building that garden for yourself, looking back and having pride in what you made. Man, there ain't nothing better than have your name on a $100,000 check. You thought popping a bottle was dope? Y'all got to pursue the success shit. It'll blow your mind. I have banana peel on the ground. I'm going to see if it's really slippery like it is in the cartoon. <laughs> how old are you? 31. And your, your ex-husband did what? He's a doctor. He's a psychiatrist. And how long ago were you married? Up until three years ago. Okay. Great. Why'd y'all divorce? My husband got sick with cancer and that changed him and it changed the dynamics of our marriage. 
Is he in remission? Yes, he is. And who filed for divorce? I did. Why? He became mentally, emotionally, and financially abusive. So for everybody at home, she was 18, married to a 53-year-old. And he took care of you just fine up until he got sick. Correct. And then when he was fighting for his life, you became a snowflake. Did you have to work when you were married? No, but I no, chose you didn't have to. to. No, no, no. You chose. But you didn't pay no real bills. You didn't have no skills. Knock it off. I'm going to be honest, ma'am. This is a whole mess. Better go back to your husband. That's all you got. And how tall are you? I'm 5'4". How much do you weigh? 180. That's a huge bitch. Goodbye. I don't have a boyfriend and I don't want it. And if I want one, I could have four or five of them if I want. But I don't want to associate with nobody. Man, me and this chick are living the same life. I could have four or five of them, but I ain't trying to hang out with nobody. They're too much fucking trouble. The price is wrong, bitch. How y'all niggas out here buying these bitches colors and all that? Y'all just push your grandma to the back? My grandma is, ah, my grandma house 1.6 or some shit like that, 1.7. I'm pushing up, and motherfuckers, she called me every day after I bought that house. Thank you, I love you so much. It made my heart get warmer. Man, so I'm gonna change in your life where, you know, going to the dealership, buying cars and shit isn't even half as exciting as taking care of your family. And man, I swear to God, one of the biggest goals I think about all the time is retiring my mom. It's going to be the best day of my fucking life, man. I think about it all the time. Hey, everyone. I wanted to just give a little bit of a life update on kind of what's going on with me. What the now, fuck is my that? Family I'm being evicted from my house now. Yeah, immediately, but what we'll, we'll, we allow you to do is get an overnight bag. All right, so right. We'll, we'll go inside so you can get some of your things. I have to leave with you? No, you can, you can drive away. No, 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 no. What I'm asking you is, I have to leave right now. Correct. Yep. So you can go inside, gather up some of your things. We allow you that courtesy. And do you have your car here? I do. I do. And then on your own accord, you can leave here, okay? So you're going to leave and I can leave after you leave? I just have to leave. We're going to leave. No, we're going to leave with you. We're going to leave together. You, okay. You definitely have to leave today, okay? Got you. So what we'll do now, go inside. Mm -hmm. get some of your things. You need this back? What's that? This. Nope, that's for you. This is me. Yep. This is me. That's officer and that's officer. Can I see your eyes, please? Is that okay? All right. My wife filed a false abuse claim against me in order to initiate a divorce in order to get an advantage over the property that we have. Out of nowhere, she just filed a false abuse claim against me and had me evicted from the house. Women in particular who do this to men are criminals. They are dangerous. They are criminals. My understanding now is that this is a strategy that many women will employ. All right, guys, I said it before, but these women are playing chess when it comes to the family court system. They know how it works. They know a female that's been through it before, so they have a coach, and they will fuck you blind. You can't really trust them, and the marriage contract is really putting you in a seriously vulnerable position. I've seen this particular situation take place on the internet in different places a lot of times. I heard it happen a lot of times where they file the, fa the false DV, then get you up out of the house, and then, you know, you can't control them. They're selling everything in the house. They're doing some crazy-ass shit. Watch out. It's a business to them, I swear to God. Skippy, where do you live? Ogden, Utah. Okay. You live in the United States? Yes. Okay. Do you have running water? Yes. you have electricity? Mm-hmm. you have food in the fridge? Yeah. Okay, you got nothing to be depressed about. There's children right now that don't even have clothes, that don't have food, that don't have anything. Only in the West do we have this notion that, oh man, it's so tough. Oh my God, I'm sad. I don't know how I feel. The problem is this. You're looking at what you don't have instead of looking at what you do have. Yes. And you're making excuses for your inadequacies, okay? All I hear is wah, 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 fucking wah, bro. And the thing is, is that you've gotten away with doing this for your entire adult life because no one's told you the truth man sometimes it's pretty hard to give someone the harsh truth but people really need it because without that serious shock value they just never going to change their life now i've seen this skippy guy on the internet though and 
he quite a next level creep to be honest so i think he a virgin i don't know if he still is but he's definitely weird for sure good morning sir i'm the census taker are you married or happy That shit's too fucking accurate. Hey, don't forget to dyno match your trunk, dyno match your fucking license plate. You spent all that money on those fucking speakers, all right? Every single addict I met is an extremely emotional person. And when I say emotional, I mean the kind of people who jump around in nightclubs and are extremely happy. No stoicism. You see these people in the club. Yeah, the club. Britney Spears, Rihanna, yeah, that. Morons. I could win a hundred million dollars and I wouldn't scream like that. And these people are screaming because Rihanna's on a stage 40 meters that way. Wonder the world's fucked. Extremely happy over dumb shit. Get angry or sad very quickly or for no real reason. And control their temper. Always talking about the past. Oh, why are you drinking? Oh man, you don't understand my life back in 2008, man. Blah, 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 blah. Crying about the past. They live in the past and they're highly emotional people and they have no emotional control. And because they believe they're supposed to be happy all the time, they try and medicate themselves set with substances. They think, well, if I drink booze or I take drugs, I will feel happy temporarily. But of course that doesn't work. It destroys their life. Everything gets worse. It's a death spiral downwards. You're not supposed to be happy. Because I'm happy. Because I deserve it. And if you deserve to be happy, you'd be happy too. And that's the truth. You don't deserve happiness until you get up and you go get it. All right, y'all. Let's see what I got for you today. I want to touch base today a little bit, but again, about setting goals in your life. I've uh, been trying to influence some of my friends in my life and I've noticed that one kind of common reoccurrence is that there's not a lot of goal setting or future planning in place. It's very difficult to become successful or to reach the next levels of your life if you don't set a goal or you haven't planned it because if, if you don't have the goal to get there then like how do you know that you're getting there or where you're going and it's pretty difficult to you know have a structured life where you have purpose and meaning and you're moving forward every day if you don't know like what you're moving forward toward so first off you're gonna have to set these goals first and foremost like regardless where you're headed you have to like set goals like you want to be financially stable you want to go to school you want to start a business you, know, you have different routes to choose but it's important that you you have a structured plan on where you're headed and why, at least probably for five years. And what we want to do is have a pen and paper and literally write them down on paper. I avoid writing them in my phone. If I have to, I will, but I believe writing it on pen and paper actually plays on your subconscious mind a bit. And just refer to this list a few times over the year, like once a month. And you can even make another list to sort of structure out how you'll reach those bigger goals and break them down even further. And uh, it's important to structure your days and your weeks. So in a week's period of time, it's important to put at least three to four hours on different days to pursue your long-term goals. And I mean like three to four hours over the course of the week, not three to four hours a couple times a week. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. We're going to see you on the next one.